North Korea, the most isolated country in the world, wants the outside world to see what it wants to be seen as. But we would like to take a glimpse behind the curtain of this censorship theatre to see how the people of North Korea really live. Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel. We have collected pictures of North Korea, both illegal and permitted ones. We may be able to shed some light on the lives of the people in this country. Beautiful Life It is believed that foreigners are not allowed to take pictures in North Korea. This is merely an assumption, but it is a fact that photography is subject to censorship in this country. Photographs are always carefully reviewed by the authorities, and even completely innocuous ones are often deleted. Photographs must show prosperity and happy life in North Korea, and deprivation, poverty, or the behavior of ordinary people are often banned content in this paradise on earth. Canadian engineer Bengt Linwall was allowed to keep the photo, but was not allowed to take home any others. In fact, most of them on the grounds that they show several trucks that have not been washed well enough. There would be no more innocuous subject than a person weeding on a lawn in Pyongyang. But such photos do not pass North Korean censorship because they see in these photos people plucking grass to eat. That means that even the people living in the capital are starving. That is why the French photographer Eric Laforgue took this picture out of the country without due process of law. And this was not the only photo he took out of the country. Perhaps this is why Laforgue was permanently banned from entering North Korea. Between 1995 and 2010, South Korea sent 33 million tons of food to North Korea. China sent 3 million tons and the US sent 2.4 million tons. Although the situation stabilized with the help of the international community, many problems have now been covered up behind the happiness doctrine. The actors who play the roles of workers are smiling because the existence of unhappy people in a happy country is not tolerated. On the other hand, the lack of smiles in real life is not a problem at all. More so when you have to wait in such a long line for a tram. The statues have also been given a makeover. In 2012, one of Pyongyang's main tourist attractions became a delight. The Grand Monument. There once stood a statue of Kim Il-sung in military uniform with a stern North Korean expression. This was because the leader believed that a statue should not have a smile, but times have changed. Now both Kim Il-sung and his son, Kim Jong-il, are dressed in more modern suits and smiles shine on the faces of the former leaders. Kim Jong-il and Forbidden Happiness However, in North Korea, joy is sometimes forbidden. In 2021, North Koreans were banned from expressing any happiness for 11 days. This was in connection with the 10th anniversary of the passing of former Supreme Leader Kim Jong-il. In 2011, all of North Korea mourned the passing of former Supreme Leader Kim Jong-il. In 2021, to show condolence to their leader who had passed away long ago, people were forbidden to celebrate their birthdays, spend leisure time, laugh and drink alcohol. When their relatives died, they were not even allowed to hold funerals. And on December 17th, people were forbidden to go out to buy groceries. Pyongyang Pyongyang is the kind of city that serves as the face of North Korea, a city that could confidently present itself to not so many travelers. So, of course, photography is not allowed. May Won Stadium is one of the largest stadiums in the world in use. Kim Il-sung Square is the site of the military parade. The Victory Gate also honors Kim Il-sung's victory. Many other monuments and structures convey the spirit of socialist realism. The 105-story, 330-meter-high Ryugyong Hotel was broken ground in 1987. This is the tallest building in North Korea and the tallest vacant building in the world. Yet, the hotel has a use and it is being used to showcase itself in a propaganda film. Yes, in fact, it looks quite nice when LED lighting is applied. 
The Juge Tower is another huge structure, visible from most locations. The 170-meter obelisk is the symbol of Juche. It is the idea that man is the master of his own destiny, and of the world around him or her. Primarily, this ideology has defined isolationism and the whole North Korea of today. It is the absolute authority of the ruler of the country, the totalitarianism that takes precedence over the individual, and the introduction of universal conscription. These are what this monument, shining in the night, symbolizes. Pyongyang also has modern architectures. There is a restaurant, a skyscraper, and two aquariums. All of these beautiful buildings can be photographed, but sometimes your guide will make you delete the photos or tell you not to take photos of them. That is because it is not always the wealth that is hidden by the beautiful exterior. Many apartments are empty, with no heat or lights. However, experienced photographers often find subjects that would pass censorship. See this photo taken by American photojournalist David Guttenfelder? There you can see a recently built training gym and fitness club in Pyongyang. Censors see a picture of the great leader there, but David notes that the lights are out all over the area. Yes, even the elite districts in the North Korean capital are experiencing power shortages. That's why the guide likes to see computers in the photos, but not these photos of children facing computers that are turned off. Children Childhood is not an easy time in North Korea. Many children have to work to help their parents. This is not surprising in a poor country. But putting children to hard labor is a violation of today's Declaration of Rights of the Child. They spent building railroads, hauling rocks, or working 10 hours a day cannot be called a happy childhood. According to a recent report in The Mirror, all of these children serve without compensation. Their childhoods are not what the propaganda portrays. But even under strict discipline, children are still children. On occasion, they even break the rules. This is a young lady with a fence set up for her safety in a park in Pyongyang. Of course, this is forbidden. And this young boy is standing in front of a bus, driving through a rural village. This is a rare example of disobedience. That is why this picture is also forbidden. North Korea's Greatest Debt In the 1970s, several Swedish companies began to look to North Korea as a promising market to sell their products. In 1973, Sweden became the first country in the Western Bloc to open an embassy in North Korea. No problems in conducting trade were anticipated and Volvo signed a contract with the North Korean government for the procurement of 1,000 Volvo 144 sedan cars. Within a year, as written in the contract, Volvo manufactured the cars and sent them to the purchaser. North Korea, however, refused to pay for these cars. The Volvo 144 sedans were distributed among the country's leadership, but it was not until 1976 that Volvo reluctantly asked for payment. As you may have guessed, to date, Volvo has not received the 2.2 billion Swedish kroner, or 110 million euros. This transaction has come to be known as the most massive car theft in human history. This is why Sweden remains North Korea's largest external debtor. So, where's the picture, you may say? Let me show you. In North Korea, you can still find Volvo 144s produced in 1972 and 1973. Bent Lindvall took this photo of the cars in 2015. Of course, they are no longer the luxury cars of the ruling elite, but are still in service and carry people. By the way, Bent took the memory card containing this photo with him, hiding it in his socks. The Biggest Boast Today we know much about North Korea through its military affairs, including its many rocket launch tests. A lot of effort is put into praising the military in this country, and official photos of weapons and military parades are not uncommon. This is especially true of depicting Kim Jong-un. The photo of Kim Jong-un inspecting a unit of female soldiers of the Korean People's Army is an unusual appearance. Won't you also be able to hold back your tears when you see this glorious man? Please, share your thoughts with us in the comment section. We will protect General Kim Jong-un as long as we live. North Korean artistic swimmers perform to this song. Very patriotic.
The military has a different side to it than the picture on the front page. Soldiers sometimes work on farms, push buses, or sleep on the grass. Of course, Kim Jong-un would not want to see such pictures. Another soldier is monitoring an area where there are frequent escapes to South Korea. Perhaps people are trying to escape the good life and prosperity. That is why such photos are also prohibited. Thumbnail Photos To conclude our discussion of North Korea, we would like to show you another photo by Eric Lefort. This photo simultaneously shows the flamboyance of North Korean propaganda and the not at all bright lives of most people behind that bright curtain. Now it's time to say goodbye. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give us a like if you think so. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so, so you don't miss any interesting videos. So that I don't bore you, I'll get right to work on a new video. See you next time. Bye.